What's up guys, it's Alab the plug again and you are welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video I'll be teaching you how to use Binance. This is going to be a 2024 edition of how to use Binance because time to time Binance change their interface, they include some things and they remove some other things. So it is important that I give you a full details of everything that is on Binance ranging from how to deposit, how to withdraw, how to use different wallets on Binance how to trade P2P, how to place your spot trade, how to place your futures trade, and every other thing available on Binance. So it's actually going to be a long video, but it's going to be worth it. So first thing first, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button so that this video gets to a lot of people. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hang around as I show you how to use Binance as a professional trader and how to trade the cryptocurrency market using the Binance platform professionally. So right now, I'm going to jump right into my screen to show you the Binance interface and how to do everything you need to do to become a trader on Binance. So let's get right into it. You're welcome inside my screen. And this is a Binance tutorial where I'll be showing you how to use the Binance uh, exchange and how to trade on Binance exchange. This video will be divided into some parts. The first thing we'll be talking about is how to buy and sell crypto on Binance. If you have crypto on Binance, how do you sell it? And as a trader, once you get on Binance, the first thing you want to do is buy cryptos because exchanges are majorly where you buy crypto and sell, trade and do stuff like that. So we'll talk about how to buy and sell crypto on Binance. We'll talk about the different kind of wallet we have on Binance. The spot wallet, the futures wallet, the funding wallet, everything we'll talk about them in this video. Then we'll also talk about how to deposit and withdraw. Then we'll talk about how to trade spot on Binance, spot trading on Binance, how to sell your buy orders, how to sell your sell orders. Then we'll talk about how to trade futures because futures trading is one of the most popular kind of trading that people do in the cryptocurrency industry as at now. Then we'll talk about how to convert your coins on Binance. You want to convert from one coin to another. You want to convert from USDT to BTC, from BTC to Ethereum. We will talk about that also in this video. And also, we will talk about Binance and how can you do some safe locking on Binance where you lock your funds and you get return for it and stuff like that. So, make sure you stick to the end of this video so that you can get all the values that you need and you can get all the necessary information you need to be able to use Binance uh, very well like a pro so first thing first the first thing you want to do when you get to binance is to sign up you can see that i already have my account logged in here right you can see i already have my account logged in the first thing you want to do once you click on www.binance.com you sign up if you are not if you are in the us you use binance.us because us has a specific binance account different from the other Binance that every other person uses all around the world. So, if you are in US, you use Binance.us, and if you are anywhere outside US, you use Binance.com. So, right here, I am logged in, and we get started. So, the first thing is that if you don't have Binance account yet and you want to sign up, you can find the link in the description below. The link is going to you are going to sign up through that link. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do on Binance is how to buy crypto because the essence of having a crypto wallet is trading the essence of having a crypto wallet is trading and you can't trade without having an account so if you want to buy bitcoin or any crypto on binance then you click on buy crypto so once you click on buy crypto you once you click on buy crypto what you do is that you come to this place you get this particular page then you select the currency if you are in nigeria this already has ngn already ngn which means you are buying with the nigerian naira, which is the currency you are using to buy so if you are not in nigeria if let's say you are in ghana you can use the ghana cd you just click on it if you are in uh europe you can select the euro so the, you just go here and select the currency you want to use to buy. As far as I'm concerned, I'm in Nigeria and I'll just select the Nigerian. 
The reason why you have to select is because the first thing you want to use a particular payment method to make payment for your Bitcoin or crypto. The reason why you have to choose the currency is because you want to use a particular payment method that suits the country where you live in. Because you can be in Nigeria and you different countries have different kind of payment methods. For example, let's look at Euro for example. Let's select Euro for example. If you are in Europe and you want to buy crypto, any crypto, you will see that we have different payment methods in Euro. The first is the card and the second is the Euro wallet. You understand? Which might be different in any other country. So let's see, let's look out for the payment method you can use to buy Bitcoin on Binance in Nigeria. So in Nigeria, you have this payment method. You have the card, you have the Nigerian wallet. You understand? And you also have the P2P trade. You can also use the P2P trade. So let's go on and do what you want to do. So you want to buy Bitcoin, you have selected the, you have to buy crypto, you have selected the, the, uh, currency. Then you select the crypto you want to buy. So we have a lot of cryptos in the cryptocurrency market and Binance supports a lot, a whole lot of crypto. So let's say you want to buy USDT, which is a stable coin. You just come here, select USDT, right? So once you select that, you then select the way by which you want to buy crypto. So you need to select, you need, sorry, you need to select the amount first. So the minimum is 9,000 Naira and the maximum is 2.5 million Naira. Yeah. So the minimum you can buy is crypto worth of 9,000 Naira in Naira. So let me se just select 10,000 Naira, for example. So if you use 10,000, you are going to receive 3.7 USDT. If this 100,000, you are going to receive, uh, you're going to receive 37 USDT. So then you select the payment method. So you can use bank transfer, right? You can use bank transfer, Nigerian bank transfer. You can use OP. You can use CUDA, CUDA bank. So if you have any of this bank, you can just select. If you want to use OP, you can just select OP, then select confirm. So once you do that, you click buy USDT. So once you click buy USD, you'll be given an account where you would transfer, you have separately placed an order, right? You will see that you have placed an order and you'll be given an account where you would transfer money to. So you'll be told to transfer 100,000 Naira to a particular account right here. So once you transfer the money and you click on uh, transfer made, then the person is going to confirm the money is in his account. and you would be able to receive that particular amount of coin in your wallet. That is simply how to buy Bitcoin in Nigeria if you want to buy Bitcoin. So that is simply how to buy Bitcoin uh, using the Nigerian. Era. So you have different payment options, uh, Ope Bank, Coda Bank, other banks, or every other bank we use in Nigeria. You can use it to buy crypto by just clicking on buy crypto coming here and doing all this transaction it takes a few minutes and once you make the payment and you do as i have shown you you just get your crypto in your account that is the first thing we'll be talking about in this video if you want to sell your crypto how do you sell you can sell your crypto using different ways you can just sell here so you know initially we, this place we clicked on buy right here it is buy then just go to display this particular place and click on sell. So once you click on sell, you will be able to sell your crypto here. It is pretty much the same process. How much do you want to sell? You put it here. How, which crypto do you want to sell? You select the crypto. Is it BTC you want to sell or USDT or any crypto? Is it in spot wallet or funding wallet? This is something we'll talk about later on in this video. So you just select the crypto you want to sell. You can just click USDT, select it. Then how many USDT do you want to sell? Let's say 100 USDT, right? Then this is how much you will see for 100 USDT, 159,900 Naira, and you sell. If you're not in Nigeria, you can just change this uh, currency to the currency of the country you currently live in. Then 
you select payment method and you go on with the transaction so that is pretty much how to buy and sell crypto on binance the next thing we'll be talking about is wallet overview what are the different kind of wallet we have on binance on binance we have different kind of wallets and you know binance is, is an exchange and you know exchanges always have inbuilt wallets where you can deposit save withdraw transfer your crypto so binance actually has different kind of wallet we first we have if you want to uh select on wallet you just go here right here where the cursor is then you see overview spots margin futures options and so these are the kind of wallet we have on binance overview simply means a combination of all the wallets we have that is overview then spot wallet is the, the wallet where if you if you deposit money or if you deposit crypto into your wallet into your binance the buy the wallet in which the crypto will go into directly is what we call the spot wallet margin wallet is for margin trading so spot wallet is where you deposit your money to and also it is where you trade the wallet you use to trade spots so if you want to do spot trading you found your spot wallet this wallet margin wallet is for margin trading futures wallet is for futures trading. So if you want to trade futures you need to move money to your futures wallet before you'll be able to trade futures so we have options trading too you can do options trading on binance for people that do it it has its own specific wallet also there is trading board there is binance and there is funding wallet funding wallet is the wallet you use to fund your account and withdraw money you know just recently i talked about how to buy and sell crypto and i showed you how to buy and sell crypto if you bought crypto using that method i told you the, the crypto you buy will go into the funding wallet now if you want to trade you now have to transfer it or move it from funding wallet to spot or futures wallet any of the two wallets you want to trade i'm going to show that also in this video so these are the kind of wallets we have so on binance so just click on this place and go to overview and you'll be able to have all the wallets so this is the overview page you can see this is overview I can click on spot once i click on spot i'll be able to see all i have in spot wallet you can hide your balance here and you can unhide it right you can hide your balance and you can unhide it so this is spot wallet you can click on margin wallet to see what you have there you can also click on futures wallet options wallet trading bots and and all other things so this is pretty much the wallet that you have on binance so now on this wallet you can do a lot of things the first thing is that you can deposit you can withdraw and transfer and you see these three icons here those are three icons the first icon is deposit icon the second one is withdraw icon and the third one is transfer icon what do you use deposit icon for if you want to deposit a coin a crypto asset into your binance wallet you click on deposit and get a binance uh, uh wallet address that you can put into your an external wallet. let's say for example you have an account on kucoin or any other exchange and you want to deposit money from that your kucoin into your binance account what you just do is click on deposit then click on deposit crypto because it is crypto that you want to deposit so click on deposit click on deposit crypto then you come here you search for the coin you want to deposit let's say you want to deposit btc you click on btc right then once you click on btc it's going to tell you to select network you select the bitcoin network btc network then it's going to give you the address this is the address your address that you would deposit the crypto to right so you just copy the address paste it in the other wallet where you want to send from and you'll be able to send and when you are sending make sure you select the same network that you have selected here you must not select bitcoin network here and you go and select another network where you are sending you are going to lose the coin so make sure you select the same network you have selected here and this wallet you copy it and you you'll be able to send to this account if it is usdt you want to deposit you can just click on usdt click on it 
choose the network. UIGT support a lot of network. One of them is TRC network, BSC network, Ethereum network, Matic network, Solana network, Avax. Bit UIGT supports a lot of network. So make sure that the network you select here will determine the address you would be given. So once you select the TRC20 network and you want to deposit from an external wallet, make sure in the wallet you are sending from, or if someone is sending to you, make sure they also select TRC20, TRX network, which is TRC20. If what you select here is Binance Smart Chain BEP20, you see it is it's a different wallet from the previous one, make sure that what you select when you are sending from the external wallet is BEP20, BSC, Binance Smart Chain. Because once you select a wallet that is different from a network that is different from the network you have chosen here in your uh, account, you are going to lose the coin. So this is a very important concept that you have to know. So if you want to deposit into your Binance from any wallet all across the world, any coin, just come here, search for the coin, Matic, for example, Matic, select network. Matic Nectar, Polygon, then you get the wallet. That is pretty much how to deposit coin on Binance. So if you want to deposit, you just click on deposit. Simple, very easy. Click on deposit, then you get a page where you'll be able to select the coin you want to deposit. Once you select the coin you want to deposit, you select the network and you have your wallet. So if you want to withdraw, let's say you have coin, you already have coin in your wallet. Maybe you have traded, you have made profit, and you don't want to sell on P2P, something I'll talk about later. You want to withdraw. You just click on withdraw. You want to withdraw money or you want to withdraw coin from your wallet to another external wallet. What do you want to withdraw? Withdraw fiat. You can withdraw fiat, which is like e-currency, which is like a Nigerian era. Or you can withdraw crypto. If what you want to withdraw is crypto, you select withdraw crypto instead of withdraw fiat. So I've selected withdraw crypto. Then you have this page. This page is going to tell you, okay, which crypto do you want to see withdraw? You can click on it and search for any coin of your choice that you want to withdraw. You can use USDT, which is this. You can select it. So once you select USDT, you now copy the address of the person you want to withdraw to. You copy the address of the person you want to withdraw to. You put the address here. For example, you put the wallet here, right? Once you put the wallet here, then you select the network. The person that gives you the address is going to tell you the network. And if you are joined to your own external wallet, you are going to get the network there. Just like I said, when I was talking about how to deposit, you select the network, you put in the network, then you put in the amount and you withdraw. So I'm actually unable to withdraw it because I have not put in address. So, but if you are sending to a Binance user, you don't need to do all this. If you are sending to a Binance user, just get the person's email address, put it here, or their phone number that they used to for their Binance, put it here. Or there's something we call Binance Pay ID. You can just request for the Binance Pay ID of the person or Binance Wallet ID of the person. Just put it here and send. So Binance is actually uh, very... One of the reasons why I like Binance is that you don't really need wallets to withdraw to an external Binance account. So if you are sending money to someone that is using Binance, then you don't need their wallet. All you need is the email they use for Binance or the phone number they use on Binance or the pay ID that they use for Binance or the Binance ID that they use for Binance. It's, it's as simple as that. So once you get this and put it here, it's going to show their name and you'll be able to send to them. But if you are sending to an external wallet that is not Binance, you use this, you get the address, you first of all select the coin, then you put in their address, then you select the network, and once you do all this, you will have you will be shown an icon that's going to tell you send. And before you send, you you'll be requested to do some uh, verification process, which is normal for every crypto wallet or exchange so this is pretty much how you can withdraw coin on binance so the third thing is transfer 
This transfer is an in Binance thing, an in app thing. It simply means how do you transfer coin from one of this wallet to the other? You know, I say that we have different kind of wallet inside Binance. We have the spot wallet, the margin wallet, the futures options, and all those ones. So deposit means you want to deposit money into Binance or coin into Binance. Withdraw means you want to withdraw out of Binance. But transfer means you want to send from one of these wallet to another. Maybe you want to send from spot to futures or from futures to spot. So let's try it. So you click on transfer. You can see you now the first thing you do is select where do you want to transfer from from sports if you don't want to transfer from so you can select any of these from usd m futures coin m futures associated margin to let's say you want to transfer from sports to usd m futures what do you want to transfer is it usdt if it's usd you select USD. how much do you want to transfer you can just for example transfer hundred dollars confirm once you do that you can see transfer successful it means we have transferred hundred dollars from the spot wallet to the futures wallet right so it's it's very simple it's just like that so you can transfer back the money you transfer from futures wallet just now you can also transfer it back to spot wallet right you can also transfer it back to spot wallet so how do we do that just click on transfer it, you select from you select from futures you know from usdm futures then to sports fiat and sports then you select usdt then that hundred you just send it back or you can even send more 300 confirm the money is back to uh sport wallet how do you know it's back initially you just look at the you got to go to your wallet balance show the balance and you'll be able to see everything that you have done so that is how to that is an overview uh, explanation of binance wallets and also that is a brief explanation of how to deposit on binance how to withdraw on binance and how to transfer from one uh from one wallet on binance to another so now let's talk about trading on binance apart from these things let me show you a little bit of thing before you go into that on binance apart from one of the things you also can check on Binance is that there are a lot of markets, there are a lot of things on Binance you can do. There are a lot of coins that are available for trading on Binance. And that is what you have when you click on markets. That is what you what you have when you click on markets. It's going to show you the markets on Binance. The first thing is that you will see hot coins. What are the coins that are hot? Coins that are giving that are that are making waves in the market currently. You see it here. The newly listed coins on Binance, they are here. You can click to select more. Those are the newly listed coins on Binance. Top gainer coin, which are the coins that are making the most profit in the past 24 hours on Binance. These are there. Then top volume coin, coins that have the highest volume of traders on Binance. BTC, Ethereum, Solana. Right? Those are the things on Binance. Then you can also see the list of all the coins on Binance according to their market cap. You can see this is Bitcoin, the price, you see the price, 24 hours difference, 2% increase. 24 hours volume, the volume of Bitcoin traded in past 24 hours on Binance at 7 billion. Market capitalization of Bitcoin according to what you have on Binance. That is 1 point something billion and that is that you can also check, you can check for all the coins you want to trade on Binance. So one of the things, one of the reasons why I like Binance is that you can look at details of the coins that you want to trade before trading on Binance. You can look for all cryptos. You can have favorite cryptos that we just select them as favorite so that you'll be able to analyze them easily. I currently don't have anyone except this coin better. Then you can look for futures market. If you want to trade futures on Binance and you want to know the, if the coin you want to trade is on futures, you can just come here and look for it, USDM futures so right so those are this is one of the things you can do on binance the next thing we'll be looking into is how to trade on binance so you just bring your cursor to this trade so you see different kind of trading we have spot trading margin trading p2p trading convert and block trade trading mode and stuff but for the sake of this video i will be talking about spot trading right now so what is spot trading 
spot trading simply means trading cryptocurrencies on the spot whereby once you buy a coin it is going to is more of like you are converting a coin it's more of like you are converting a coin right so that is what spot trading simply means on binance so this is the spot trading interface you see that we have a lot of stops here and i'm going to explain all these stops one after the other the first thing is that you have something here which is btc usdt is that is what we call currency pay cryptocurrency pay it means the chart you see right here is representing the movement of btc against the usdt you should have learned that from all the basic knowledge you will have learned about crypto but i just have to explain that for the sake of this video so let's say you want to search for any coin you want to analyze or you want to trade on spot trades you can just come here and search for them you can search for btc you can search for bch is that really a coin you can search for ethereum so once you see ethereum you can just select ethereum usdt ethereum. if you select ethereum usdt for example you see that the chart is going to change to the chart of ethereum right if you select mana for example you see it mana usdt you can select it and you see that the chart is going to change to the chart of mana so you can pretty much select any coin you want to trade or analyze it and and choose it so let's go back to btc usdt so we are back on btc usdt so the first thing is that you have the price here the price of btc usdt you have the price here then you have some information around here one of the information is these are just basic and fundamental things you need to know about btc okay the 24 hour difference right 1.83 percent 24 hours high highest point bitcoin has reached in 24 hours 24 hours low 24 hours volume and all other ones all other stuff like that if that those are the first thing you would see there then you see this particular place which is called the order book order book so you will see that some of it are red and some of it are green what does this mean this simply represents the green colors the the red movement you are seeing they represent people that want to sell bitcoin the others placed by people selling bitcoin that's what we call it order book the others placed by people shorting bitcoin you can see this is the price of their orders some people place sell at 52,222 you can see it as it is moving so once the order gets filled it leaves this place so this is the other book of different people trying to sell bitcoin and you can see this is the other this one the green one is the other book of different traders trying to learn bitcoin so it's showing you statistics of buyers and sellers that is what we call an order book and also this is the current price right here so you see the current price then you see people trying to buy and people trying to sell and you know trading crypto is basically a tug of war between buyers and sellers right so that is it so now that is other book so now what you have here is all called the chart you can actually analyze your crypto your coin using this place so this is uh, pretty much uh, how to like analyze bitcoin you can analyze this trade here you can choose the time frame you can you can, you can use the time frame that you use you can select and use indicators just by clicking on here. You, are, you see that there are some indicators on the chart already, like the moving average 7, moving average 25, and moving average 99. You can hide the indicators. You can see the indicators have gone. You can then show them again. And also, you can remove these indicators by just clicking on this place, by closing that particular one. If you want to add indicator of your choice, just go here, click on te technical indicator, and select any of them you want to use so you can just select EMA which is exponential moving average you can edit it to your taste I use EMA9 then I use basically EMA9 so I can just unbox on select this and put EMA9 on my chart I can choose the color uh, I want maybe color yellow I can increase it then it's going to show my chart you can see emna so you can use this particular 
interface, this particular place, to analyze, to look at the charts and analyze what is going on in this market. Also, there is also an advanced trading view. You know, trading view is practically a an, a tool that we use to analyze the chart. So you can use the trading view interface of this chart as well. So if you want to use the trading view interface, you, you just go here and select trading view. So you have it exactly like we used to have on trading view. You can see this is exactly as we used to have it on trading view. And you can analyze your market without having to go on trading view. What the reason why Binance has this is that they are trying as much as possible to make sure that everything you need to do to analyze the market to trade is on Binance. That is why they have things. So you can analyze the market using the trading view here, or you can use the original one that is uh, put there by Binance. So that is that about that. So you can also see that. Right here, we have different market trades that are happening currently and the, the time they are happening. So you can just look at it. If it's part of the way you analyze the market, it's fine. So you can use that, look at all this information. So also, then let's talk about how do you place buy and sell orders on the spot trading? How do you place buy and sell orders? So let's say, for example, you want to buy Bitcoin. Or, okay, you know, we have selected Bitcoin USD, which means you have USDT, which you can use to buy Bitcoin, and the reverse is also the case. So, what do you want to do? Let's say you want to buy BTC. We have different kinds of orders we use in the crypto market. For the sake of this video, I'll be talking about the market order and the limit order. I actually have another video where I spoke about the stop limit order. Uh, and other orders that we have on Binance, like the, the trailing stop loss, the OCU. I have it on my channel. You can find that video. It's one of the first videos I posted on my channel. I, can, I will just link that in the description. So, if you want to buy Bitcoin on Binance on the spot trading platform, what you just do is, what kind of order do you want to place? Is it market order or limit order? Market order simply means that you want to buy something at the immediate market price at the immediate market price the current market price that is what a market order means once you click on market order it's going to give you the market order. then you click on total how much bitcoin do you want to buy you can just select like 30 dollars for example 30 which means you want to use 30 usdt to buy bitcoin and click on buy once you click on buy the trade will be executed immediately you see market order buy field which means you have selected you have used 30 dollars out of your USDT to buy bitcoin immediately so if you want to buy sell that BTC you just bought if you want to sell it all you need to do is just come to this place this is buy this is sell so that same 30 dollars you can sell it immediately sorry you can just just select USDT then you can see the available balance of your BTC. Just, just like put in the value of that available balance, which is 0 0.000. Or maybe you can also use this particular thing. You can drag it and you can drag it to 100%, which means you want to sell all the Bitcoin you have, which is $30 worth of Bitcoin. Sell it. And once you click on sell, it's going to convert back to USDT. If you watch the balance here, you can just drag the video back a little bit and watch the balance before I buy and the balance after I bought. Then watch the balance after I sold. You will see that the balance actually changed. So that is what market order means. Market order means you are executing a trade at the current market price, at the price available for you at the market without uh, caring whether it, it pays you or not. You understand? So now, apart from market order, I also use limit order. Limit order means you want to buy or sell something at a different price, at a price that is different from the current market price. So let's say, for example, you have done your analysis and you predict that Bitcoin is going to come to $51,000 and you don't want to buy at the current market price because you feel it is too expensive and, okay, I want to buy my own Bitcoin at 51 k So you just come here, click on limit. 
Then put the price. What is the limit price you want Bitcoin to come to? Just put it here. 51000 You can see $51,000. How much do you want to use to buy it? How much? You can use this to drag it. So once you drag it, you'll be seeing the amount. You can see. You want to use all the money in your wallet to buy it. You can just drag it to 100%. You want to use half of it, you can drag it to 50%. If, and you can also input any amount of your choice. So you can just input, let's say you just input $100. Remember this is a limit order. Limit, this, in this case, limit order will not buy for you immediately. It's going to hold on to your $100 that you want to use it to buy and going to activate for you the trade for you immediately price get to your limit price. So once you do this, click on buy BTC. Once you click on buy BTC, you see that the limit order is showing here, which means BTC will be bought with the hundred dollar you have put in this trade. Immediately, price gets to fifty one thousand dollars. So, let's say you want to sell Bitcoin too, and you feel the, you want the price to go up more. You are not satisfied with the current price. You want the price to to rise before you sell. So you can set a limit order to sell also. By just clicking on this, maybe you want it to get to $54,000, for example. Click on put in $54,000, put in the amount of BTC you want to use. And once you do that, just click on sell BTC and it's going to sell. You have a pending order here. The difference between uh, market order and limit order is that market order is by you buying at the exact price in the market limit order means you are buying or selling at a different price that you want the market to touch before your trades are executed so also if you have orders here you can cancel them so you can just click on cancel and you have this order cancelled and your money will be back into your wallet right so and i hope you get uh this particular aspect of spot trading the first thing is selecting the coin you want to trade by just coming here and selecting any coin of your choice. The second thing is analyzing the market using this particular interface or changing to trading view to analyze the market. You can use indicators, you can use strategies, anything. Analyze the market. Then you can place your trade down here by either, either using market order or a limit order. You can use all these orders too and you can get a video where I explain Lim stop limit order and orders in the description box below. The next thing we will be talking about in this video is P to P is a uh, futures trading rather. The next thing we'll be talking about is what we we'll call futures trading. This is where you treat futures trading on Binance. You see that you have actually you actually have two different kind of futures trading. The first is USD. S futures or USD M futures. The second is the coin M futures. What is different between these two types of futures? USD M futures is a futures tree whereby you use USDT or USDC to trade, and your trades will also be settled in USDT or USDC. USDT and USDC DC are stable coins, which means they are coins that if you have them, they don't uh fluctuate in price the price doesn't go up and down it's stable that's why we call them stable coin so most of the traders in the crypto market they use usdt and usdc to trade futures because it is uh the coins are stable they don't flung in the price anytime they don't want to trade they just leave it there and also coin and futures means features that are settled in cryptocurrencies like bitcoin ethereum you can use bitcoin ethereum and other assets to trade the crypto market too and that is the, the futures market too and that's what we call coin and futures but as far as i'm concerned i use usd and futures that's what i use every time that's what i use to trade every time because i basically use usdt and or usdc to trade futures so how do you trade futures this is where you trade futures you see that the interface is also close to that of it also looks like that of uh uh, spot trading even though there are a little bit of differences the first thing you want to do here is 
that you want to select the coin you want to treat on futures you can just click on this place this you already have btc usdt you can click on here and search for any other coin you want to trade if it is not btc usdt any coin you can search for it but for the sake of this video i'll be using btc usdt then you also have the opportunity to analyze the market using this particular uh charts to analyze the market just like you have for the sports wallet so you can use this to analyze the market you can look at you can use your indicators you can use your strategies to analyze the market i would make much more video about how to trade futures how to analyze the market for futures in subsequent videos so make sure you subscribe to the channel so also you can use the trading view uh you can use the trading view on binance too to analyze the market if you don't want to use the normal binance trading ch charts interface so that is that about that then let's go you have the other big other book for features too just like you have for sports the other book is just a book that is showing the trades that are placed by buyers and sellers in the market so you have other book here you have trades placed by buyers these are people that are shorting the market or selling these are people that are longing or buying the difference between one of the difference between spot and features is that in futures you have long gain and shorting which means you can place trade predicting that the market is going to drop and once the market drops you make money from that you can also place trade predicting market is going to go up and once market drops you make money from that the first one i mentioned was short trade or sell trade which means you can predict that okay once bitcoin get to 42400 it's going to start shorting and you place a trade on that and once it starts shorting you are making money you can also predict that the market is going to long and once you start once you place that trade the market starts longing you are making money as if the market goes in the opposite direction you are losing money i hope that is clear if you need more information or more details on how to trade futures find the link in the description below on a video a separate tutorial i made on futures trading and watch that as well because it is actually a broad area, a broad topic on its own that needs to be treated separately. So, if you need more information on how to treat futures, strategies, what does future mean, and every other detail, make sure you watch that particular video after this. So, that is that. So, in spot in futures trading, we have two kind of things. We have cross margin and isolated margin. So if the first thing you want to do if you want to place a futures trade is to select the kind of margin you want to use. What does cross margin means? Cross margin simply means that if you are in a futures trade and let's say your balance, the balance of your futures wallet is $500, then you use $200 out of that $500 to trade, for example, and the trade starts going against you. And once, once all the money you use in that trade is exhausted, the market is going to cross into the remaining balance in your account and bring money from it into the trade. That is what cross margin means. Isolated margin simply means that the amount you use in entering a trade is isolated into that trade. And if you lose that trade, you only lose that amount. So I usually advise beginner traders to use isolated margin. And that is actually what I also use in my futures trading. So future trading is risky, it comes with a lot of risk. You really need to like master it a lot before you can make money from future trading. You also need to have a lot of patience, have a strategy, and have a proper risk management before you can make good money from future trading. So I use the isolated margin because whenever I trade, I want the capital I use to trade to be isolated in that trade. I don't want uh, Binance to bring any other money into that trade. For my back for my balance if per uh, adventure i'm losing that trade so that's the first thing you choose asset margin then you choose what we call the leverage here is where you choose the leverage leverage is a tool that allows you to multiply your profit when you are trading futures i explained that in my future trading tutorial I'm sure you watch that video so you can increase the leverage but you have to understand that the more leverage you increase the more profit or loss you are likely to incur what does leverage mean? Leverage stands in form of a borrowed money. This is why we make more money from futures is because 
the platform is going to give you something that looks like a borrowed money. Let's say, for example, you are trading with 10x leverage. For example, your capital is $100 and you are trading with 10x leverage. For example, it means that you have access to capital worth of $100 times 10, which is 1000 to trade. You will not be able to withdraw that 1000 but you have access to trade $1,000 worth of capital instead of the initial $100 you have. You understand? So because the exchange is going to borrow you more money, you have to like multiply your, your capital times 10 for you to be able to access more capital. To trade the market and make more profit but the bad thing the sad thing about it is that if the market is going against you you will lose money faster and if the market is going for you you make money faster so i usually advise that you are a beginner trader don't go beyond the 10x leverage and also master how to use leverage to your advantage i explain that also in my futures trading uh tutorial ensure you watch that so you select your leverage after selecting the leverage then you select your trade. Do you want to use the market order or limit order? It's pretty much the same thing, just like I explained in the previous session where I'm talking about spot trading. Market order simply means you are trading at the, at the current market price, and limit simply means you are trading at a future price, at the price that you want the market to reach before you start trading. So let's let for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just use the market order. Then let me say, let's say I want to use twenty dollar to enter a trade, and I want to. Then you select the amount you want to use to enter that trade. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say, twenty USDT. Let's say twenty USDT. This twenty USDT is more like I'm trading with one hundred and four USDT due to the leverage I'm using. That is what leverage is all about. Then you click on buy or long or sell or short any of the trade buy means you are buying or you are predicting the market is going to long and sell means you are predicting that the market is going to short once you click this oh minimum quantity is one hundred and four. okay all right so let's just let's drag it this way let's just click on trade for the sake of this video once you click on trade you would be able to see the trade right here you see that the trade is already moving and in future trading you'll be able to see the profit you are making and the loss immediately from this point you see that the trade is going in a loss i actually didn't analyze anything i just placed the trade for the sake of this video so you can see you can download the picture of this particular pnl profit or loss you are making and you can do some other things here too so that is how to place futures trade on binance if you want to learn much more about futures just ensure you watch my tutorial on how to trade futures and that is actually going to like help you become a very good futures trader so also on futures you can also set i've actually cancelled the trade you can also set take profit and stop loss I'm going to make a new, uh, another video on how to sell, take profit and stop loss for future trade in a subsequent video. So ensure you stick around, you, you subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you get to see that once I post that. That is that about how to trade futures on Binance. The next thing, the next thing I'll be talking about is how to auto invest on Binance. If you want to invest in cryptocurrency and you want it to be automated, how do we do that on Binance? All you just do, need to do is just to click on N. Just click on N. You see different kind of things: simple N, high yield N, and auto invest. Click on auto invest. Auto investing simply means that you want Binance to automatically invest some money for you automatically without you having to like do the investment yourself and keep the money for a specific period of time so that you can make profit from it or you can get a return from it so once you click on auto invest you would see this particular page you can select any of the coins that you want to auto invest in btc ethereum bnb pyth and stuff like that so all you have to do is and you can also search for coins here like let's say you search for gmt it's going to bring it that's it 
but I just want to use BTC as an example. So just look, you see, auto invest five years. The typical ROI you are going to get is two hundred twenty-five percent. If you select five years, you can also auto invest for six, three years, which is like sixty-one percent uh, ROI. One year, sixty-four percent ROI. Six months, typically you get forty-six percent ROI. Three months, typically you get eighteen percent ROI. You can auto invest for seven days. Typically, you get like 5% return on investment. So, if you want to do this, you just click on create a plan. Then, you select, okay, you know you have selected BTC. So, what you do is that, how much do you want to invest? Anytime you want to invest, per period, how much do you want to invest? You can, let's say you want to be investing $20, $20 every time. You see the creation time and every other details right here. Then, okay. Where do you want the, what, the, the, the crypto to be removed from, from your spot wallet? Which means you have to have enough crypto in your spot wallet. Then how do you want to invest? Is it daily investment or weekly or twice a week, bi-weekly or monthly or every eight hour, every one hour? You select that. Then when do you, like how frequent do you want it to be repeated? Any day of the month. You, if it's monthly, which day of the month? Maybe on the third day of every month. What is the time you want it to be removed? You put it there. And once you are, you put all the details, you click on agree to the terms and conditions. You can read the terms and conditions, click on agree and you confirm. So once you do that, you have created a plan for you to automatically invest in Bitcoin. They will remove this $20 from your wallet every month. If it's monthly, every week it is weekly and you get a return on it until the end of your auto investment time remember there's always a period you have to select maybe it is one year or six months or two years or five years you get your returns with the original investment and every other thing so this is one of the things i usually recommend to people that have money to invest in things and they don't want like maybe they are afraid to invest at once and this is also a way by which you can use this year strategy to invest in coins and hedge against uh the fluctuation of the market another thing i'll be talking about briefly in this video before i call it a day is the p2p market p2p market is actually a very big market where you can buy and sell coins different kind of assets in any country you are so this is you, you can buy and sell usdt you can buy and sell BTC, FTU, BNB on the P2P market. P2P market is a market that allows you to buy and sell cryptocurrencies from your country using the any uh, payment method like bank transfers, international wire transfers and all these things to trade and buy cryptocurrencies. P2P is actually a course or maybe it's more of like a tutorial on its own that's going to take like 30 minutes to explain so i will advise that you watch a video i made on p2p trading i will link that in the description box as well so make sure you watch that video and learn more about how to trade p2p also you can also become a merchant and make money you can all these people on p2p they are merchants that buy and sell cryptocurrencies on the p2p platform and make money being a merchant so i actually made a video on how to do that i will link that in the description below so make sure you watch that thank you for watching this video and thank you if you have made it this far it was actually a very long video but i am very sure that it is worth the time if you want to learn more on how to trade the cryptocurrency market how to become a legitimate and expert trader consider getting the 10x cryptocurrency mastermind which is a course i've put together and the course that has helped over 100 people to learn how to trade the cryptocurrency market. In this course, you'll be learning how to trade the spot market, how to trade the futures market, how to do a proper fundamental analysis so that you'll be able to know which coin would give you massive returns on investment, how to do a proper technical analysis ranging from candlestick chart, smart money concept, strategies, and the likes. You'll also be learning risk management, trading psychologies, and a lot more. If this interests you, Consider getting this course for $100 and it's going to be worth it. You can find a link to that in the description below or somewhere around this video.